Within this lesson, we'll look at using place value disks to represent two digit by one digit multiplication. First, let's represent 2 times 32 using disks. Let me draw a place value chart where it is that I have place for ones, place for the tens, and place for the hundreds. 2 times 32, using place value disks, in the ones place, I'm going to look at the number 32, and I will decompose that number and break it down. It's worth two ones, and then also three tens. So there's a tens disk, there's another tens disk, and there's another tens disk. So that's three tens there, and there's two ones there. But what I have to do still is to multiply by two. So in the ones place, I will have two more ones. And in the tens place, I'll have three more tens. That was two times the three tens. And let's write that out using a number sentence. And here, this was two times the two ones. What would I do with these amounts here? Right, I would add them. Let's evaluate this. Two times three tens is how many tens? Six tens, and two times two ones is four ones. Putting them together, what number do I get? Right, 64. that work using a partial products approach would be written as follows. Well, we start with 32, we multiply by 2, and we're looking at 2 times the two ones. 2 times 2 ones does equal 4. Next, we have it where it is that we're multiplying 2 times the three tens. And 2 times 3 tens does, does give us 6 tens, which is worth 60. I do add those two together using a partial products approach, making sure my digits are nicely lined up, and I get that same answer that I got before using our place value chart and disks of 64. You'll notice that the 2 times 3 tens, hey, that was this right here, 2 times 3 tens. And the 2 times 2 ones, yep, that's this right here. Here we're asked to model and solve 3 times 52. Let's use a place value chart where it is that we'll use ones disks and tens disks and hundreds disks. Will we look at 3 or 52 first? Right, we will look at 52. What is 52 in unit form? It is 5 tens along with 2 ones. And that's what we'll model into our chart. Then we decide what we're multiplying by. In this case, 3. So in the tens place, all of this times 3. Okay. There. I've written those five tens three times. In the ones place, I will also look at those two ones and multiply by 3. And so in my place value chart, which I really should label. I have worked with that there. Now, what do you notice within the tens place? 
Huh. Well, I have five, ten, fifteen tens. Can I regroup? Can I bundle? How many would I bundle? I'd bundle ten of them, right? Ten tens equals what? Well, one hundred. So I can make one disc over here in the hundreds place. So I am left with the number one. One, two, three, four, five, five tens, five. And then I have six ones, or 156. Before I had changed in for a larger unit, I had had three times those five tens, and I had three times the two ones, which was three times five tens, which was 15 tens, plus six ones. 15 tens worth 150, six ones worth six. And that is, as you see in the place value chart, 156. Read that equation with me. 3 times 52 equals 156. Your turn. Model and solve 4 times 36. Make sure to use disks. Pause that video while you're doing your work. What is 36 in unit form? There you go. And what were you doing? You were multiplying by 4. Did you write out your number sentences of what it is that you were adding? Did you solve your problem? In your chart, with those three tens, you had to multiply by 4 so that you would have three tens times 4, and then you would have six ones. And that, too, would be times 4. Looks like I've lost a 1 here within each of those. That was, let's see, 6 ones times 4. Remember, we're adding that. 3 tens times 4 does equal 12 tens. 6 ones times 4 does equal 24 ones. And then so that is 120 plus 24, which equals 144. So that 4 times 36 equals 144. Where I modeled that, and I have solved that. You could have written ones here, tens here, hundreds here, and you probably should do that to be a more accurate mathematician to show that you're using that place value chart and to show what each of those disks is worth. If I had done my regroups within my place value chart, it would have looked like this. I would start in the ones place, where I can regroup how many ones? Right, ten of them. So let's see. Well, there's six within each row, so I just take five of those within two of those rows. That should be ten there, and that's ten there. Ten ones equals one more ten, and these ten ones equal another ten there. I am still left with four ones, so I'd have four here in the ones place. In the tens place, I do have more than 10 there, so again, let's regroup. There's nine, and one more is 10. 10 tens equals 100. So I am left with my larger unit of the hundreds, 100, and it looks like I have one, two, three, and four tens. So it's 100s, four tens, for ones, or the number, just as before, 144. Did you regroup when you were trying?
Okay, let's show you one last problem. Using our standard algorithm here, I have 3 times the 5 ones, which equals what? Well, 15, which was 15 ones. And again, that was 5 ones times 3. Next, I had 3 times those 4, or what was that worth? 4 what within that number? Well, 4 tens, and that's times 3. 4 tens times 3 is, well, that's 12 tens, which I write as 120. And what do I do with those two numbers? I will add them. So my answer should be, in the 1's place, it's a 5, in the 10's place, a 3, and in the 100's place, a 1, or 135. Let's use our place value disks and see if we get that same result. I start with the 45, and write it within unit form. It's worth 4 10's, and worth 5 1's. Next, I'm multiplying by 3. So in the ones place, I make five there and five more, so that I have five ones times three. Next, I have four tens times three. Let's do that. The difference between this lesson here is that we are doing some regrouping. We're exchanging for larger units, exchanging ten ones for another ten, exchanging. 10 tens for a hundred. And so we are left with 100, 3 tens, 5 ones, or the number 1, 3, 5. Just as my work here is showing. The work on the right over here is called a partial products, where we're recording our partial products to figure out our multiplication. And of course, this was our work within the place value chart, where it is that we are bundling two larger units.